Hello, my name is Tokyo Blue, and you've come to Game Station Tokyo. Thank you guys for coming on back. We're doing The Walking Dead. This is Season 1, Episode 3, The Long Road Home, Part 2. Thanks for coming on back. Let's get this game started. Find a way to Damn. read a notepad. Pages ago. We need chalk. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Uh, what? what is this? Haka one, two, what's this? A bunch of maps about Georgia cities. Nothing about the train. Picture. Okay. You got any chalk? We got you? a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. You got well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. All right. So first, I need some chalk. Let's pour some water on it. Ruin the notepad. <laughs> the instructions on how to start the train. Are there because wait right, no I want to go here the engineer didn't know how to start the train that's why he needed a crib sheet let's try to pull that pin out with the tool I got I'm gonna go through this <coughs> come on move wrong tool <coughs> there it is it's stuck I can definitely pry this thing free if I can break it loose first. All right. Let's forget the other tool. There's two more tools over there. Hopefully, I'll get the right one. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh. Ooh, faster, Lee. Why can't you grab all three tools? You got hands. It's the second one, right? All right, so let's grab, you said break it. I guess we'll try this one. No movable parts, good for striking. Looks like nighttime's coming. <sighs> Excuse me. All right, hurry up, gotta move on. Here we go, break it. <clears throat> it's stuck. We need a bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. Bunch of force. Bunch of force. Force. Hmm. What type of force? I'll try the other tool. <coughs> Would be the last one. They knew we were going to go in order. Probably did some sort of statistical study. Here we go. Here we go. This will do it. Come on, double time it. Night time's coming. Oh, come on. <gasps> we need a bunch of force to break away all this rust oh. and whatnot before well, we I can to, pry anything free. We asked a kid for help. God darn it. Now watch, I got the wrong tool. Where's that kid? Get down. Where's the kid? 
Where did he go? There it is. First. Water. Here, found some water. Oh, thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? What's that got it's to do with water? That's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow uh, that matters. It I'm doesn't. dead now. I know. Bees don't well, matter. I don't, but you're probably right. Is something to write with? Chalk? There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, uh -huh. I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? Oh, there used to be something some written on the notepad dude. that I need to know about. Oh, well, if you don't end up using it, I'd take it. I like to put leaves between the pages and color over them. Like make a rubbing? Yeah, it's fun. Alright, check the RV. We found a notebook that we think might have had some starter directions on it, but the page is missing. Well, I'm sure you guys will figure it out. What? That's it? Where's the RV? RV says, don't try to separate the cars. What's that noise? What's her bag? Alright. Look there. <clears throat> Aha. What's Kenny doing with a pencil? Whole bunch of force. I still need you, kid. Have you heard or seen anything out here? No sign of whatever lives in the train. Keep it Whatever down. I don't want you scaring the, the kids. Alright. Let's go check out that note then. Maybe it's not time. Doo -doo. He fell asleep. What are you doing? Staring at the, the wall? Alright. Alright. Here. So perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Should I remember this? That's doable. That looks like the primer. Alright. Do I have to do it now? Wait a minute. How do I check my inventory? Nope. How do I check my inventory? Uh. <clears throat> Hey, Ken. What's up? You're weird. You want to talk about that? I'm really sorry, Kenny. Nobody deserves this. He's There's not nothing a to talk yet. about. You heard Cat. He could be up. fine. He's we can't probably give up shouldn't on him ignore yet. it. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. I'm just paying attention to these controls. With the directions I was able to piece together, I, I think I might be able to get this thing started. I don't know. It's a long shot. I don't even know what the fuel situation is with this thing. We'll find out. You mess around <clears> in the <throat> engine compartment yet? Uh. I'll get back to it. Right, Me now, too. How do I check my inventory? Uh, uh, inventory. Inventory. Uh, let me check settings. Options, settings, controls, inventory, close action back. That's it. How to play settings. How do I check my? All right, we gotta go out here. 
I think. Wait a minute. See, I don't remember what the, the thing looks like now. Come on. Console. Oh, okay. All right, here. All right. Six. Two down, two up. Up, down, up. On six. All right, so. Two down. Two up. And then up, down, and up. Pretty sure that's it. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Alright, so... Now I got a five. Uh... <clears throat> oh, wait. Where are we going? I got a five. Uh, square. Okay. So, this one, like that. Now we're talking. Yeah. I like the lights. Then we go out, we go over to the primer button. Here we go. Uh, okay. Left. And then right. <clears throat> that was easy. Holy shit! We're golden! This thing is loud. We better so get moving. So what? We're barreling down the tracks at 40 miles an hour. I don't care about the noise. Let's fucking enjoy this. For the moment that it is. Mom, let's see if she'll move. <laughs> Which one of the levers is all yours? Forward? Throttle. All right, I guess that's it. Just gonna leave everybody behind. Damn it! Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Sure. Get us unstuck? No yeah. Problemo. Better hurry up. I think it's noisy, like you said. Run! I think the tool I got will do. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. <laughs> it just takes off on them. See you guys later. What's this? You touch any of my stuff? Oh, I didn't touch anything. You're welcome to come along with us. Like your hairdo. I took the map of the train routes. That's fine, you can have that. Oh, thanks. Really? Yeah, I got them all right up here. Huh. <coughs> I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. Is that your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab. Him too. You're an engineer? I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. It's still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. I'm I already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You're all tied up. 
after you drank that boy over there. He looks a little sick. Wow. You met Chuck. <clears throat> I did. He plays the guitar. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy. Ben, too. Well, oh, yuck. Yeah, I'm guilty. I'm eating it. Infected candy. What's your game, man? Keeping alive. That's not bad. I like it. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. Ah, oh, this guy got around real quick. <coughs> Don't know what's wrong with that boy over there. He wanna eat my chocolates. I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. Let's play with a guitar firm. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Stay with <clears throat> us. We'd like the company. We ain't got no room. All right. What? How are they going to take off? You can sit there and play songs. Hey Chuck, we gotta get Honey. going. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Oh, so you Fine, you wouldn't want to come with us then, huh? I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all. Actually, it's nice. You want to stay longer, you can take a shower. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. <laughs> it's a That's pervert. some kind of something. Where are you from? You live around here? I Georgia lived in boy. that cabin, remember? You saw where I live. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Hope so. Let me play my guitar. Tastes good. How you doing, Ben? <gasps> Watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Oh, sorry. I figured you wouldn't be able to start it. Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It tastes okay? Yeah, it was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Why? Was it poison? Human flesh? Train's cool, huh? It's loud. I guess. Scary, kind of. Well, when are you going to start going? How stuff? Stuff is, you tired. know what? Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Maybe he's the answer. Exactly. He's the future. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. I'm no. so traumatized. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. Oh, she only kissed me on the cheek. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'm a killer, remember? I do. Don't. I liked her, but she's gone now. I have to move on for I'm Clementine. Sorry, Dave. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. <clears throat> that's it. We talked to everybody. Can we move? So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. That's great. Get out of here. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Yeah. Want a ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. Don't talk about my son that way. Don't talk to her like that. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. 
Daddy! I can't see, my eyes are all cloudy. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee we're just, just wants to play by it air. Through. It's talk just through. Just like you wanted oh, to. Cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. I don't want to see my boy turn. <clears throat> Come on, how about the horn? What these levers do? Choo choo! Those wheels are round. That's it, they're only gonna move five miles an hour. Something's slowing us down. <clears throat> Everybody's got their him, eyes man. on them. Three adults taking care of three <coughs> No disrespect, son. I'm not a kid. I'm a man. We'll be fine. We've gone through just as much as anybody else. This one's gonna grow up quick. I already am. <laughs> Don't doubt it, son. Lee. Oh. Please, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? I need you to throw him out. His face. My hands are full here. Well, well, what's going on? Thank you. Don't get Could it you on just you. Get that off his face, please. Ew, yuck. Yuck. Boil that. Toss it out. He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Why don't we just toss about? <clears throat> don't touch this rag. I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. I don't need to talk to them, do I? You want a rag? I'll get this train stopped right quick. I'm a man. Stopping the train. Stay put. You don't have to tell me that. Okay. I'm a man. All right, let's go. Stop the train. Tutu falls off by accident. Kenny, it's time. Don't tell me it's time. You need to stop the train. Huh? It's stuck. He's gonna wipe the rag on him. Is that a choice? Is he gonna wipe the rag on him with circle? Uh. Katja needs you, Kitty. Duck will be fine. <clears throat> Stop ignoring it. He won't be. He's going, Kenny. You need to what be What is there. the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You stepped on a man's head once, you can do it to your son. You're in denial! And you've given up! On Duck, on everyone! Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? I'm gonna toss you off this train. I don't know what the hell is wrong with you, but 
think you need to lock it up. Be a man here. Oh, you want a piece of me? Is that it? I just want to talk, Ken. Relax. Then talk. You think you're the reason Duck was bitten? Like you had this coming or something? You didn't kill Herschel's son. Yes, I did. And now it's catching up to me. That's not what went down. You looked out for your kid, and a bad thing happened to someone else's. There ain't no way this world lets my son live when I help put someone else's in the ground. That's not the way it works. You know that. You're a guilty man. Stop the man. train, man. Okay. Okay. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Everybody gets thrown forward. Ten miles later, the train finally slurs down. Look how flat that, that area is. <clears throat> Ken, Someone's going to have to do the kid I in. I think it's time. Gonna waste a bullet on him? The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. I wasted it all up in front. What are we gonna do? <clears throat> Waste a bullet. We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. Stop being an idiot. I love our idiot. son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, Doesn't that he may not sense. turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cap. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. You just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. <laughs> He's I gonna know. have to take his heel but to him. No, it's here. Step on or his head. Nothing. Go ahead. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I can. Mm. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. No, I'm the killer. it should be a parent. No parent should have to do something like this. Lee's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and... Let Lee do just it. Just let that be it. I don't know. Just stick the kid Lee, under the tree. You'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest? So Clementine doesn't have to see. No. That, yeah. Give us a moment. That's a good to idea. Say goodbye. Of course. Goodbye. Arr. Oh, he bit me. Lee, what were you gonna do? Oh, nothing. Duck is dying. I know. So you know how to put a dog out of what his misery? Well, it's almost the same thing. Uh... I'm gonna make sure he's okay. Oh, you got a magic how? pill? He's bitten. By making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Yuck. Look, Clem, things are... What, what the... the... No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. Why am I always doing things? Why can't I see the action? Just gotcha. <clears throat> Mommy Dearest did it. Where'd she get the gun? Oh, she killed herself too. 
I only heard one bullet, though. Cat! Cat! Gotcha! Huh? That don't make sense. Why? Cat! Honey! Oh, fucking God! <laughs> Oh my god. She I, missed. I <laughs> I gave her the gun. She said she was going to shoot Duck, but she missed. I don't care, Daddy. Let me eat her brains. Lee, it's been such a goddamn bad day. Let me do this. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. Yikes. Sorry to have to do this, Lee, but you have to be a hero. Oh, well, Kenny's looking. I thought Ken went back to the train. Sorry you had to see that, man. <laughs> man, he lost two people in his life. What would Lily have to say now? It's not gonna bury him? Trying to get Duck on the radio. You want to talk? Uh-uh. You uh, understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What do you think it's about? What Chuck said. What Chuck what said? What did Chuck that say? What happened to Duck would happen to me. What, what the fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. I'm gonna go talk some sense into him. Don't be mad. Who the hell are you to say that to Clementine? Hey. How you doing? I don't care what reasons you had for doing it. No reason to go and tell my girl she's gonna end up dead. Because she is. I'm gonna toss you out on a train now. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. I think that's a new idea. You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were... You gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. What? <laughs> the guy's got a head of hair like no tomorrow. Uh... I'm not a barber. It ain't gotta be styled. Jesus. You gotta run around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack, and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. Okay. Explain to her how they work, and not to be afraid. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plant, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. 
It's something. Now let me throw you off the train. Uh. Yeah, I shot a kid. Um. Where are you heading? Uh, that way. I mean, when we get to Savannah. I got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. Uh, okay. Be safe up here. <coughs> <You betcha. laughs> Even though he was angry as heck before, seems like he's the wise old man. You okay for driving? Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. Just us guys now. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? God damn it, Kenny. You mind if I... Look in there for a second. I really wish you'd just leave <laughs> me alone. It's full of maps and documents. Get out of here. Okay. <clears throat> he wants the maps to himself. I'm not a man. Hey, Ben. Wait, hey. what? Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. I guess you can count. We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah. I guess not. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See you. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... <gasps> he explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. Let's shoot out the side of the car. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? No, karate. Got it. I mean, with one of these. First, Yikes. don't be afraid of don't me. Knock me. It's down. just a thing. Take it. It'll but shoot know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. I always wanted See? to do this. It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. Don't aim it at me. Your aim. You look right down the top through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? Don't waste ammo. When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a while. <gasps> I found that if I did that, I was a lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Here, shoot at the sneaker. Oh yeah, broken glass, all where they're gonna sleep and stuff. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Stay. 
steady now. Almost got it. Bullseye. Okay, a little higher. Whoops, my mistake. Close. Now keep it steady. Steady now. Yeah, how are you gonna do that Almost on a moving train anyway? It's a little unfair. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Lower. I got it. Excellent. Now Good shot. Pretend it's somebody's head, and then you'll be just fine. A little bit more to the left. Close. Now keep it steady. There you go. Nice. Just don't know where we're gonna find more bullets to reload that gun. She's gonna pull the trigger when she needs it. There's gonna be no ammo. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. See? You did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. No, let me shoot you in the knee. No, no, no. Just gonna look out. See what's going on. So now what? <clears throat> what's this? Oh, scissors. They look clean enough. Time to cut your hair, kiddo. Hey, Clint. Hi. So oh. you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. You we shot have to my talk toe about off hair. earlier. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Because it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. That Just a trim, sense. right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. So that you look like a boy. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do this? Nope. Yeah, of course. I don't believe you. Well, good. Good? Means you know when someone's lying to you, which is another valuable survival skill. Hey, go back. So you did kill someone before. Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. <coughs> doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Uh, yeah. Lily gave them to me for sleeping. Oh, Lily. I miss there. her. All set. Ta-da. It still smells. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. about eating. I'm sorry about your hair. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. 
Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. Oh, I hope it's map, safe now. there. God, me Let's too. go for the map. There's a bottle of whiskey over there. Mmm, <clears throat> yum. It's a fifth of whiskey. A fifth? That's it? Someone peed on this map. Uh huh, on the He's bed. Lived here a while. Alright. And. What's down there? What is that? Blood. I hope we're not on this train much longer. That's it. Hey, kid, don't feel bad about what I said. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. Oh. Yeah. That's it? I came back for that map now. What's your problem? Hey. Yeah? You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. <coughs> it's the best plan. Are there any maps up here? Did you I ask me know. about that? I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land you once we get to Savannah. You me about that, Lee. You're driving me crazy. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? Not this time. Do you mind if I look in there for a second? I really wish you'd just leave me alone. This is really important. Get out of here. What's your problem? Mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty? Can you just leave me alone? Ah. Kitty won't let me get the map. I found this if you want it. Oh, I got that there. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? <clears throat> Nah, I'm fine. Suit yourself. More for me. Mm. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Hmm. Will do. Maybe Kenny could use that. Hey, Kenny, you want a drink? Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. Sure can. He's got some. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Little celebrations, do. Yeah. I'm single. Help. Get the map. Bingo. Bye-bye. Thanks. That was quick. Can't leave the uh, train unmanned. Hey, Ben. See ya. Hey. See ya. <laughs> yeah. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. God damn it. What? You got two people killed. It's all my fault. No kidding. We left Lily behind. Jesus, Ben. I know. They said they had my friend, but he was with just, them. Just stop. Fuck. Can we even trust you? Yes. Why'd you have to go and tell me that? I just... No, just don't tell anybody. You can't take any of it back, so don't. Okay. Coward. Can't even grow a mustache. <sighs> Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're going to do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or Ooh, totally the under control. Away. 
the thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> Good. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Okay, we'll look for them. Really? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna wanna look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the Savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... <clears throat> hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the, um, um, something Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? <laughs> yes, that's it! So we're we'll head sure? there. Yes! There's this you thing think called we the have Marriott. a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know. That you got a haircut? Yeah. Sure. Go ahead. Alright. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far. Oh shit! Hold on, everybody! Whoa, they heard him from all the way up there? Choo choo! He's king of the world! Dang, dang it. Where's the reverse? Oh, they could have just blown right past that. Fuck, 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 fuck! Language. Language. Maybe we could walk? <clears throat> That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. Hmm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Are you guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. Could be. Who are you? Two people who have a strategic position on you. Come on, hun. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah. You're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. Send your buddy, but they only have one person going. <clears throat> hmm, seems trustworthy. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. All right, here we go. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude, I'm Omid. This is my Lee. taller wife. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. Look, you, you want to help us out? We could use some able bodies and... Yeah, we, we really need some help. What's in it? Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What? I'm a what are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Oh, shit! A What's your name? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. 
Well, this is great. See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I'm a killer. Uh... I came across Clementine <clears throat> alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? Cool, uh, yeah, man. Didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, <clears throat> they're cool? A little messed up. Kenny lost his wife and kid. Man, how long ago? What time is it? Uh, I don't know, uh, four? Maybe two hours ago. What? God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened I'm to you guys. Up. That train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? Am Henry? I gonna have to tell your people the plan or what? This thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. <laughs> Whatever government work was going on here didn't seem to help. Generator? It's empty. No gas. Folks probably had their way with that van a while ago. Can't pull out it? <clears throat> oh, a bunch of signs. Always wanted one for my room. That's about the only useful thing in here. Yellow tea. Empty. That's what I figured. Mm-hmm. Okay. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, we could use some good people. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. We could help you guys, though. Maybe. So, yeah. Hi. Uh, again? The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, what? in case something happens. <clears throat> really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. You figure you would have done that already. Um... Oh. Play a sad song. Where is everybody? I wish she could run. Oh. Got a clear view up there? Yeah, we're good for a ways. Thank God. We need someone. Anyone come along and, and exterminate them or something. Oh man up, uh, will ya? <clears throat> Who's that? Okay. Oh no! <sighs> I'm telling you, <clears throat> if they ever get a hold of me, and I know I'm not getting out of it, that's it, man. I'm just gonna punch my own ticket. Yeah, you sure. After punch you your did. own ticket? Yeah. Take myself out. That's tough talk don't for a dramatic. coward. Coward. Don't let them get a hold of you. Just listen to the music. I'll calm All you this down. power and we're still stuck.
I'm glad someone's managed to keep the spirit. It's a little out of tune, though. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups, and I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Ugh, please. I've saved her ass hundreds, tens, sometimes. Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? Well, this there are a lot of levers talk. I can't wait to use. I said if something were... <coughs> Maybe we can drive in shifts. We'll see. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while and then... You know. That's rough. Her cat is gonna be pissed. Talk to you later. Teaching him anything? Trying to. Where am I going? What? Supposed to go check out the house. Uh, the station. And that's all the time we have today. So please do come on back and join me again for The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 3, Part 3. Uh, my name is Tokyo Blue. You've come to Game Station Tokyo. Sayonara.